Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic 2 Pro tutorial video. And today we're going to do a real short, quick little video on just basic flight control, how to use the sticks and how they actually make the drone behave based on what you do with the sticks. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, we are here in the DJI Go 4 app, which is our uh, software or application that we use to monitor, see what our drone sees, and uh, control it, help control it, and uh, do all the things that it'll do. So we are now connected, and if you look up in the upper left corner, right to the right of the DJI logo, you'll see it. we have a green box that says ready to go GPS. That means that we are connected to satellites and that everything is good to go and it's stored the home point, uh, which is right where my drone is right now. So just a couple things we can do real quick. Um, and this first thing is what's known as um, calibrating the compass. And it's something that we don't have to do every single time, but it's always really good to do. Like if you've traveled a long distance between flying drones, and um, it's also something that you can do called calibrating your IMU, which has to do with sensors. That's something that you don't have to do every time. And that's something that you have to do um, less than even calibrating the compass. So real quick, just every now and then, just make sure you calibrate your compass. So we're going to do that. So what we're gonna actually do is up there where that green bar is that says ready to go, GPS up at the top, just tap on that. And then you're gonna get this. Now do you see one, two, three, four items down? It says compass. And then look to the right of that and it says calibrate. We're gonna tap on calibrate and then it says, please start to begin campus calibration. We're gonna click start. And then as you can see, it tells us what we need to do here. It says rotate the aircraft 360 degrees uh, horizontally. So what we wanna do is we wanna pick the drone up. We actually want to walk around the drone instead of moving and have the drone, um, you know, circle around us. So now we're gonna turn it on its side and the same thing, walk around the drone to try to keep the drone where it's at. And then when it's done, it just disappears and now our compass has successfully been calibrated. Another thing that you can do real quick, just pre-flight, is up in the upper right corner, the three dots, I would recommend doing this as well. Tap on it. Up at the very top left, you see the little drone icon, we're gonna click on it, then uh, if you'll look down where it says home point settings to the right of that, you have two items. The one on the left with the little arrow is where your drone physically is. The one on the right is where you are as far as the remote controller. So if you were to fly your drone and move around, you'd want it to land at a different home point. You'd want to choose the one on the right, but I 90% of the time we use the one on the left. So tap it and then it tells you set the current position as the home point. So that we're gonna click okay now, where that drone is right now in that home pad, that's considered the home point. So if we're out flying our drone and we lose sight of it or just something goes wrong, you want to fly back, you can click return to home, that's where it'll go. I'm gonna have a separate return to home video upcoming. Um, it's probably already published depending on when you're watching this video. So now it's time to take the drone off. If you'll look on here on our app screen, to the far left, that very top white icon under the DJI logo is a little up arrow. We're gonna tap it and then it tells you that uh, we're gonna take off. So we're gonna slide over and the drone will start. And there we go, it is that simple to take off. And then from there, it's just gonna sit there and hover. So as you can see, we have the drone up and it, when you let go of the sticks, it just hovers in space, like in, this, in the same spot. So uh, you don't have to worry about it much, pretty simple to fly. I'm gonna show you guys how simple the flight is. Now here's the most like, I wouldn't necessarily say confusing, but the thing you have to get used to when it comes to flying a drone. I took the drone, when the drone took off, the camera was facing me, okay? So the drone's facing towards us and now, just to start off to make it easier and to understand this is what we're going to do. So on the left stick, we're going to, uh, you know, kind of go left and it's going to rotate the drone to the left. Now the drone is actually facing away from us. So the drone is facing that way. So the camera, the heading, everything's looking that way. So there, you're, you're fixing to see why I uh, recommend doing this when first start flying. So let's go over the left stick first. On the left stick, when you push up, the drone is going to go up. When you push down, the drone's gonna come down. So that's what up and down on the left stick does. Now on the left stick, when we push left, when we go left, the drone's gonna spin left. So as you can see, it's just circling left right now, okay? Now that I got the drone to where it's facing away from us still, 
whenever you push right, the drone is going to spin right. So I'm gonna let it do a full circle. So that's the behavior of the left stick. Again, up, down, spin left, and spin right, okay? So that's pretty simple. Now let's talk about the right stick. Now what the right stick does is if we push up on it, it's going to start going forward. And remember, it's going forward based on the exact same orientation that we're in, okay? Now, whenever you push down on the right stick, it's gonna start going backwards because the camera's facing forward and it's in that orientation, bringing the drone down so you guys can see it. So again, as long as the drone is facing away from you, it's looking the same way you are, it's in the same orientation as you. So for instance, I'm looking south and the drone's looking south. So everything on the sticks is in the same exact orientation. So again, up on the stick, it goes forward. Back on the stick, it goes back. Now, whenever it comes to left and right on the right stick, when you push left, check it, the drone goes left. When you push right, check it, the drone goes right. Okay, so that's how you do your left and right and all that good stuff. So now here's where it gets a little tricky and what takes a little getting used to if you are first new to flying drones. I'm gonna push left on my left stick until the drone rotates enough to where it is facing us. Let me fly it a little closer. Don't know why I've been out so far. I guess to kind of avoid some of this buzzing noise you hear from these drones. Okay, so there's our drone. And now keep in mind guys, the camera is facing us now. So everything is backwards except for up and down on the left stick on the left stick up is still up down is still down no matter where the drone is facing however this is where it gets tricky on the left stick if we push left the drone is going to rotate left but it's kind of tricky because the orientation is just backwards of where it was if you push right the drone's still going to rotate right no matter what you do on the left or right stick, the drone's always gonna behave the same, but it's gonna seem backwards to you, especially on this right stick. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So on the right stick, if you push up before when the drone was facing backwards, it would go that way, because that's the way the camera is. Well, like I said, the drone's still gonna do the exact same thing. When you push up, the drone's gonna go forward, but forward to the drone's orientation right now is towards us since that's where the heading is and that's where the camera is. So for instance, I'm facing south, but the drone is looking north. So when we push up, the drone goes forward, but it's going north, right over us. When we push back, the drone goes backwards away from us. So I'm sure you guys get it and understand. I'm not trying to uh, <laughs> beat it into your heads or insult your intelligence by any means, but it's one of them things until you've flown a drone for a while and get comfortable with it, it can be a little tricky. So the same thing. Now that the drone's facing us, when we push left, when we push left, it's not gonna go left, it's gonna go right because the drone is going to its left now, being the orientation is swapped. When we push right, the drone is to us is going left, but it's really going to the drone's right. Okay, so I sure you guys get what I'm saying, but that is just a real quick, simple uh, video on what the uh, how the orientation works with the DJI Mavic 2 Pro whenever it comes to the sticks and pretty much all DJI drones to begin with. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe as I will continue to have more DJI Mavic 2 Pro tutorials upcoming in the future. As always, guys, this is Dylan. I enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you on the next one.